It's finally here. The review that I was looking actually the most forward to out of all the reviews that I've done, which have been uh, one so so far. One. Hit the like button and subscribe down below. Push these videos out if you want more review videos. Well, well, hopefully I don't get sued for this. Oh boy, come on everybody. Let's go, let's make us a sculpture. Well, if I wasn't getting sued before, I'm getting sued now. Okay, let's get going. All right, for like first impressions, it does, you know, it does feel just as hard as that Chavant clay. But the thing about monster clay is, is that it's supposed to be more waxy. And I already tell you now, it's, uh, I can't get a piece off, but it does feel a lot more silky, more smooth, more you know, waxy. And it definitely feels not as sticky, if sticky at all, like the Chavant clay did. What's great about this is it comes in a whole five pound bucket for like 25 bucks, 25, 30 bucks. Like five pounds of Sculpey Firm, if I were to buy that, would be something like 60 something bucks. So it's nearly double. And another good thing about it is it already comes in a tray that you can just throw in the oven or the microwave, even though there's 5 million instructions on here that say not to put it in the microwave, but pretty much everybody I've, I've seen use this puts it in the microwave. But let's throw this in the microwave. It'll probably take about five minutes again, like it did with the uh, Chavant clay. And then we'll mess around with it for a little bit before we jump into a sculpture. Let's do that. What else? So after eight minutes, this is what we are left with. It's all like molteny down there. <laughs> and as expected, the insides there is very, very hot. So heed the warnings carefully. It does get very, very hot. Let's do some quick tests here. Let's just scoop out some here. Woo Ooh. Oh, it's so silky smooth. Oh man, it's so different from Chavant. Like it's just so silky and waxy. It just does it doesn't stick to anything. Just balled up some clay and we went to town to see if we could smooth it out and see if it sticks to the tool. Nothing. Nothing on there at all. Man, this stuff just feels I don't know, it's just satisfying just to play with this. It's so silky. This is great. Let's tool some of this a little bit and see what happens here. Ooh, man, that's smooth. Look, doesn't stick to anything. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Clay, what have you been all my life? Great tool, we'll rake it down a little bit. See how well it smooths. Oh, that's ridiculous. Look at that, it'll be five seconds to get that patch super smooth. I just sit here and do this. This is the whole video. I'm just gonna sit here and just play with this. I'm just take big satisfying chunks out. Just Look at that. <laughs> All right, well that's enough of that. Let's get an armature going and let's make another one of those little demon robin things. This, this stuff is so satisfying to work with. Oh my crap.
First things first, is this clay as good as everybody says it is? Unfortunately, yes, it is. It's very, very smooth, very easy to work with, takes details incredibly well, it's cheap, it doesn't have chemicals or anything inside of it that affects making like silicone molds, anything like that. It does get hard enough so you can actually seal it and then paint on top of it, so there's that as well. All around, it is a very, very good clay. And I have to say, with the little brief period of me using it, I'm probably going to be going forward using this clay. But remember to smash that like button to help the video get out there. Another video coming in just a couple more days, which will be a full video of these little demon robin things, all detailed up, all smoothed out, all painted, ready to go. I'll see everybody in a couple days.